I for today's tear down this which is by the way already opened why is it already opened because of uh, shipping damage the cover was uh, so damaged I had to uh, cut it away you can see a shock here and here so you did notice yes it is a piece of avionics actually a glorified GPS receiver for aircraft it was three British pounds so not expensive but sadly uh, arrived with some damage so I will not uh, keep this item for this reason so first we will have a look at the paperwork that came with it unserviceable tag from KLM UK why? Because it was a redundant system. So as redundant, it was unserviceable. Other paperwork here, dead code of 2007 from a city jet aircraft. And it is called the Global Position Unit. For some reason, I have three of these labels for the same particular unit. Same, uh, yes, same serial number everywhere, 431, okay, so it is a box with uh, one collector on the, on the back, front with heat sink, extraction handle, we will see it better later, uh, main logic board here with processor, on the other side, power supply, main shielded GPS receiver unit and here some uh, frequency generator so what I will do I will take everything apart and we will have a close look at all the parts after I think it will be easier with this way Okay, we are just a few screws later. We will start by having a look at the front panel <coughs> to see what this thing is actually. The Global Position Unit from Allied Signals Avionics USA, of course. Seven nibs. Fancy handle here to extract the module from the avionics bay and it is in fact a GPS receiver nice uh, die cast uh, front piece here for extruded uh, uh, maybe aluminium for heat sinking serious uh, metal work here this might be a keeper part we will continue with the metal work itself here the damage so this will go to the recycling after I extract this uh, metal inserts probably some part number stamped nothing particular here 
This part here is actually not damaged. This part has the rails for the uh, uh, extractable modules. Quite a fancy one from LG and G Burt Lock Trainer. Okay. Uh, back piece with uh, damage. The hole for the main connector here. The exhaust fastener. Other rail. The main connector with, uh, you can see the damage. Nice golden pins. <coughs> I do not know the brand, it is not written, or maybe it was written here actually. I did not find this part uh, early enough in the parcel, because the parcel was half opened and maybe it did leak the uh, antenna plug here. Some uh, filter here and the wires with uh, regular uh, Dupont connectors. This one is a Molex with golden contacts. Okay. We continue with the electronics. First, the obviously power supply. Interesting uh, link here with a flat cable. And uh, looks like some kind of uh, switching power supply. Made in USA, USA, two uh, transformers of this uh, particular design by wire benders. Yes, obviously, to make a such a shape of a transformer, you, you need to bend the wire. Nice uh, three legs capacitor here, and nice, uh, probably uh, shielded tantalum ones here. This uh, devices here, filter devices, at the same time uh, two inductors on one capacitor or something like this. Voltage regulators. And it is all. No bulge wire. Pretty clean work, totally. Uh, also we have this module which is uh, Frequency generator at uh, 10 MHz with uh, probably an ovenized oscillator here. And since it is a built-in unit, uh, you need just to supply some power and you will have your uh, 10 MHz output. So this is a keeper for any uh, electronics experiment. Must be uh, half decent, I guess. Or probably quite easy to use uh, just to figure out the voltage. Maybe I will find the uh, data sheet of this uh, part number. And I have the other part of the connector here, so really. Yes, uh, keeper here. You can find uh, teardowns of ovenized oscillators on uh, YouTube, by the way. It is just a quartz with some insulation and the uh, heater element and uh, some uh, uh, control electronics. On the other rail here to the main uh, high frequency unit. Uh, what next? Uh, the main board. So here, very obviously, the main uh, processor board. A lot of uh, input filters here on the, the connector coming from the back of the unit. One Zilog processor here. Z8000 on socket. Eproms. I will maybe dump the Eproms by Honeywell. <coughs> and all the auxiliary stuff, or home probably somewhere. And interface stuff. Quite a clean board on your uh, Zydog processor is a ceramic one, socketed. So definitely a keeper. Sadly, the other ICs are not socketed, but it may be possible to extract them with uh, hot air, probably. I will try anyways. <coughs> Excuse me. And yes, it is the GPS processor board. 
So, so far the electronics were uh, interesting but not uh, fascinating. We will finish with this main uh, RF uh, uh, receiver box for the satellites. I hope we will have good stuff. It is obviously a double sided box. In fact, I do already know what we have in, inside. So, uh, by the way, you have some unwritten information here. Your connector for the uh, things, the coax. So, what do we have on this panel? Okay, quite a crowded board. As you can see, with it seems five times the same circuit. So maybe it is a five satellite tracker. Uh, so uh, radio receiver circuitry here, uh, very analog with uh, calls on everything you need. This little variable calls like in uh, regular radio receivers in fact. Nothing uh, very spectacular here. <coughs> Philips LM311. Uh, but the most interesting is maybe this thing here. <coughs> Six uh, leg device with uh, uh, brown top or yellow top and it is called a mix so maybe it is a mixer or filter something like this mcl 630 and 28 now i believe it is the first time i see such packages so probably a keepers and it looks like this board can be disconnected from here. So I will undo the other side first. Super quickly. Uh, more screws on this one, by the way. So do we have uh, RF Voodoo circuitry on this side? It is this side, the coax. One of the coax at least is entering the box. So I will save parts, the screws obviously, uh, good, the components, the interesting ICs. But it is not my best in paper chase for sure. But it was only three British spoons, so not a big deal. Okay. Interesting. From in here and upside down PCB I have to unscrew. with interesting uh, footprint here of uh, parts you can see this is yes probably the connector between the two boards and uh, we have bolts here and quite long screws which is good okay So, ah, one more screw. And now I should be able to undo the PCB after undoing its screws. But I do not expect to find anything behind it. Wow. No shortage of screws, at least in this box. By the way, if somebody can give me uh, a, 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 how to find chip one of those big uh, cell tower transceiver boxes with billions of screws, you I want one super weird shape of the board. Here we have a connector actually. Let me do the other side. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a weird cut in the PCB. Wow, first time I see this. Look at this, it is fixing all the way. Quite impressive. Just to accommodate this uh, wall here for shielding purpose. But still, not expected on the way. Interesting. Another view on these parts here, which are quite strange. Still, no bulge wire. Very nice connector here with gold plating. Okay, so we are left with one last PCB. Actually, the one with the uh, flat flex, which is secured here by a serious piece of metal. Wow, spare no expense here at least. Look at this. So, what do we have? Okay, some gold at least, and again five times the same circuit. Look at this. MK68211 <coughs> something, excuse me. And this golden part from Estimate Crow Electronics. So it is a shame, these ones, the plastic ones are socketed, but not the golden ones. And if I want to keep parts, it will be definitely the golden ones. Also, uh, crystal oscillators here with, uh, well, crystals with. Uh, Golden legs, the other side of your fancy connector. Okay. So we have no clue of what this is doing exactly, but at least you can notice. Super nice IC here. Impressive stuff. Still no bulge wire. Very, very well. Well made PCB with these fancy parts. Interesting. Okay, so it will be all for this uh, teardown. And by the way, a one way teardown, even the box was damaged. Sadly. Here, just a machined aluminium block. Pretty serious stuff, as you can see. Okay, but at least uh, I end up with some nice, uh, unusual golden ices to keep in the collection if I manage to unsolder them. Because I am not sure if I want to keep this complete uh, PCB anyways. Probably not. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.